Okay, the charges on the plates of capacitor are 120 microcoulomb and negative 120 microcoulomb when they are connected to a potential difference of 6 volt. What is the capacitance of the capacitor? Alright, so here he asks about capacitance. Okay, capacitance is um, C. Okay, capacitance is C. Uh, capacitance is actually the ability to ability of a capacitor to store charge. Okay. Uh, here he gives us the charges. Okay, these are the Q. Okay, and a potential difference. Uh, we have a potential difference of six volts. So this is the vo uh, voltage uh, applied to the capacitor. So we can imagine something like this. We can imagine something like this. We have a capacitor. Okay. Uh, Capacitor is actually two, uh, two parallel plates, yeah, uh, uh, connected to a potential difference. That means connected to a battery, connected to a battery of a uh, uh, six volt battery. Okay, uh, six volt potential difference. Um, okay, you have a charge. Uh, we can say uh, here is uh, the charge. This is the voltage applied, and this is the charge. Charge stored in the capacitor. Okay, this is positive 20, uh, 120 microcoulomb, and here is uh, negative 120 microcoulomb. Okay, uh, so uh, we can say this is a positive plate and uh, this is the negative plate. Okay, so what is actually capacitance? Capacitance is actually uh, uh, charge over voltage, yeah, or can say charge stored in capacitor per unit potential difference connected across it. Uh, that means uh, it is ability to store charge. Uh, if like, let's say, uh, okay, I've lectured about capacitance in my lecture video. You can take a look uh, in my lecture video. What is actually capacitance? In short, what I can say, uh, capacitance is the ability. Uh, of capacitor of a capacitor to store uh, to store charge okay so that's the formula is uh, charge over voltage okay charge over voltage okay so uh, the charge we have uh, 120 microcoulomb okay so be careful with all the units Right, all these units you have to change to the SI unit, uh, column, uh, the voltage is already in SI unit, so not, never mind. Okay, and uh, the charge here is just the just take of one plate, huh? charge of one plate only, uh, one plate only, uh, charge of one plate only, not two plates, huh? charge of one plate. Don't, don't say that, oh, um. 120 plus 120, so you put uh, uh, 240, uh, which is wrong, it is wrong, yeah? not 240, uh, it's 120 only, charge of one plate only, okay, so, uh, and uh, no, no sign at all, uh, no negative sign, no negative sign, yeah, and then you must change to SI unit, column, which is, uh, okay, you need to, uh, micro is exponent negative 6, Right, exponent negative six, and then divided by the voltage is six volt. Okay, six volt. So, uh, all right. So, what is the answer? So, exponent uh, negative six, uh, divided by six. Uh, so you get ah uh, two exponent uh, negative five. Uh, unit is farad. Ah, uh, yeah. The unit for capacitance is farad. Uh, don't get it wrong. Yeah, uh, capacitance unit is is not coulomb. Is farad. Uh, coulomb is for charge. Uh, again, uh, charge has the unit coulomb. Um, okay, capacitance has a unit farad. So don't get it wrong. Yeah, don't say capacitance is coulomb. No, eh? coulomb is for charge. Uh, capacitance is farad. Okay, farad. Okay, so is the answer correct? Yeah, 2 exponent negative 5 farad, that's correct. Okay, and then let's go move on to the next 
questions. Question B. What is the potential difference across a capacitor if the charge on each plate is 64 microcoulomb? Okay, now he's asking about potential difference, which is the voltage. Okay, he give us the charge on each plate is uh, 64 microcoulomb. Okay, so you can see the charge has changed. From 120 becomes 64. Uh, the voltage will also change. Only one thing never change, which is capacitance. Ah, okay. So as I said over here, okay, as I said over here, uh, capacitance is actually uh, the ability of a capacitor to store charge. So this uh, capacitance is always constant. Ah, yeah. Capacitance uh, with the symbol C is always constant. Uh, yeah. So uh, again, I want to write the formula over here. Uh, B. Yeah. Uh, capacitance is a uh, charge stored per unit voltage. Uh, charge stored per unit voltage. So this capacitance is always constant. Okay. But uh, this one can change. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh, this charge and voltage both can charge and voltage both can change, but the capacitance is always constant because it's the it's like um, uh, a characteristic of a capacitor. It's the ability of the capacitor to store charge, and this ability cannot change unless you change the structure of the capacitor. Yeah, unless you change something inside the capacitor. If you don't change something inside the capacitor, the capacitor capacitance ability of the capacitor to store charge is always the same uh, if it is uh, 1000 farad then it's always 1000 farad if it is the uh, 2 2 exponent negative 5 farad is always um, this uh, value is always uh, constant uh, this value is always uh, constant unless you change something inside the capacitor okay if you don't change anything inside the capacitor this value Capacitance is always constant. Okay? Uh, capacitance is always constant. So, whatever changes is only the charge and the voltage. Uh, if you apply a smaller voltage, a uh, smaller voltage, then it store less charge. If you apply a bigger voltage, then it can store more charge. Uh, That's what it means, yeah? Okay, so let's move on. Uh, now, uh, the capacitance never change. So, we write back the same value. The farad, uh, capacitance. Uh, okay, and the we uh, the charge given now is sixty four micro. Micro is uh, exponent negative six. Okay, uh, change to uh, SI unit. Yeah, uh, important thing is change to SI unit. Micro is negative six. So uh, voltage, uh, voltage. What is the voltage? Sixty four micro. Uh, micro. Uh, divided by 2, sorry, divided by 2, exponent negative 5. Ah, okay, so the answer is uh, 3.2 volt. Ah, so that's the answer. Uh, 3.2 volt. Is that incorrect? Yes, that's correct, yeah? C uh, 3.2 volt, that's correct. Okay, uh, so you, you see, last time you apply um, 6 volt, you can store uh, more charge, 120. But now you apply 3.2 volt, you can only store uh, 64 co uh, coulomb. You see that? Last line is apply 6, you get 120. But now you apply 3.2, you store only half of the charge. You see that? Uh, so that's that's what it means. Yeah. So uh, this uh, capacitor is the ability to store charge. It's always constant. Okay, unless you change the in something inside the capacitor. You change a plate, you change the distance between the two plates, you put a dielectric, uh, and then you will change the capacitance. If not, uh, whatever changes is only the charge and the voltage. Okay, that's all for this question. See you, bye.